1963, I get this call from Miles, you know, which led to me going to his house, not knowing what was going on. He had some music there, we started playing. He played for a minute, minute and a half, and then he took his trumpet and threw it down on the couch. And he said, oh, crap. Well, he did not crap, he used another word. But anyway, he, he ran upstairs, and we didn't see him for the rest of the day. This happened for, for three days in a row, where Miles would just play a tiny bit and then leave us. What I found out maybe 20 or 25 years later is that Miles actually ran upstairs to his bedroom, and he was listening to us on his intercom. And he knew that if he had stayed down there, we would have been nervous. And in order to hear us kind of unencumbered, he, he, he removed himself from there, which is so wise and so compassionate. He didn't want to make us nervous. So that way he could hear what we really played on. Next thing I know, and on the last day he played a little more with us, and then he said, okay, Next Tuesday, we have to meet at Columbia Recording Studios. And uh, we recorded a record called Seven Steps to Heaven. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, I mean, what an amazing musician. But at the time, I didn't know that. And the reason I didn't know that is because I had tunnel vision about jazz, and classical music. So just because he was playing bluesy style, I, I just completely blew it. Because it was bluesy and it wasn't like the modern jazz, up-to-date jazz that I was listening to, I, I just didn't pay any attention to it. Thanks to Miles Davis, I changed my whole viewpoint because I found out that Miles was very open about music. And Miles was Mr. Cool, like the coolest guy I'd ever met. So I said, if Miles is open about music, it must be cool to be open about music. So then I started listening to James Brown, then started listening to Jimi Hendrix. And, and this was around the time that there was a rumor going around that Jimi and Miles were gonna get together, which would have meant I would have had a chance to play with Jimi Hendrix. And the next thing that happened is that he died. So it never, it never happened. You know? So I was wrong, but I got right. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix is, is a genius.